cash? Cash is rock. Okay, we say cash is king when the market is so ugly that you just want to get out now. Sell, 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 sell. I can't endorse that here because I like the market longer term. But after a session where the Dow dipped 43 points, the S&P inched up 0.02%, NASDAQ advanced 0.1%, I'd be lying if I told you I feel great about this market. What's wrong with it? Well, earnings tonight for one, and especially the forecast, and we're going to get to those. But let's start with what I think is the real elephant in the room. Let's start with the bond market, which, of course, is much bigger than the stock market, as I always tell you. And its power bleeds into the stock market every day and has been bleeding in a bad way. How does it do that? Simple. When the government sells bills, notes, and bonds to pay for the deficit, it really weighs on everything. Consider it a gigantic sideshow that can really hurt your portfolio. Just this week, you've got a huge $44 billion seven-year bond auction. That's tomorrow. On top of today's $70 billion five-year note auction, that, that's an awful lot of bond supply, especially on top of the $69 billion sale of two-year notes we got yesterday. Talk about cash is rock. The bond market now has gotten so compelling to so many people because it's been going down that they want to buy some of these bonds, which means they need, often need to sell stock in order to swap out of equities and into the bond market. They have to raise cash to buy bonds. Makes sense, right? You need a lot of buyers to come in and buy these bonds because so much is being for sale. And for many, that means to cash sell, your sell, stocks sell, sell, sell. in order to be able to buy, buy, buy. the bonds. Now, I know that treasuries are risk-free. Terrific. And if you think that the Fed will eventually cut rates this year, well, then the two-year, it was a really interesting piece of paper, around 5%. I bought some yesterday. But remember, I can't buy stocks. Two-year, good. But how about this five-year note with a 4.66% yield? That was today's business. Or the seven-year yield? Seven-year, which I think is going to be similar tomorrow? Sorry. To me, they are not real value. I want a higher yield going out further. Others will, too. And if that's the case then bond yields will have to move higher, price to bonds, lower, okay, to bring in more buyers. The impact on the bond market and then the stock market would be immediate. In a world where long-term bond yields keep climbing, stocks will head down. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.